We're going to talk about the root causes of inflammation, which in turn become the root causes for all sorts of preventable diseases, not just heart attack, stroke, and diabetes, but dementia, kidney failure, and other organ failures. Let me say that I can't go into a deep dive on each of those root causes. That's not the purpose of today's talk. Dr. Brewer has plenty of videos that if you want to know more about a specific topic, please look at those videos. Today is meant to give you this overview so that you can understand better what do you need to investigate to be certain that you're making yourself bulletproof for these preventable diseases. And so let's start with this quote from Thomas Sydenham, the father of English medicine, who many years ahead of his time said that a man is as old as his arteries. Fast forward 400 years or so, and we now have science. I've quoted one article on here and many other articles that tell us that we can attain arterial wellness. That's what this channel is all about, is helping you maintain and create arterial wellness. And all of that goes back to the fact that oxidation, the thing that rusts steel, injures the arteries, causes the fire, the inflammation that leads to plaque rupture or plaque erosion with formation of this scab that we docs call a clot. And it's that clot that fills the artery and blocks the blood flow. And it's the clot that kills people. It's also the tiny clots that break off from that that go downstream and block the small blood vessels. And that's where dementia and kidney failure and so on come from. And so this this centrality of oxidation, what causes that is what leads to inflammation and then damage throughout your body. I showed this slide last time as well that shows how arterial aging progresses. And initially that channel is wide open and that blood flows through the channel and carries oxygen and nutrients. And this is exactly why Dr. Brewer is right when he says stress tests cannot predict your heart attack. You will pass the stress test every day with arteries that are already diseased. And even as disease progresses, the channel's still wide open and plaque rupture can happen at this point. The next slide shows a more severely narrowed artery, but trust me, plaque rupture happens at these earlier stages. And those are the people that were in good health one minute in death's throes the next minute. Remember half of all people with coronary artery disease, their very first symptom is either their death or their heart attack. 